base is just a place where we from. You know, where a lot of us rest our heads at. Living down here in the War House, which is the Lower East Side part of Alphabet City. Um, it was kind of given his name to base for a lot of his military ways in action. You know, coming up how we came up back in the certain era that we came through, the Lower East Side was always known for being real militant, heavy military, straight soldier-like, a lot of warfare. Plus, the area always been a place to do battle. Plus, it was at the beginning stages of major events that took place in and around the Lower East Side, such as the whole disco scene, the punk rock days, the hippie movement, the whole club scene in and around the Lower East Side, all the drug wars, all our OGs, all our street fathers, all our dons. And this what was giving the Lower East Side its pulse, you know what I'm saying? Giving it its heartbeat, making it jump on a whole nother vibe, a whole nother rhythm. And also, we can't forget about hip hop. You know, when hip hop became a movement, one of its first places or first stops that hip hop placed its feet upon, you know what I'm saying, was on the shoulders of the bass. And along with its four principles and four elements. And when this happened, the hood began to uprise. And when the hood began to uprise, the hood became community and unified and organized itself. The hood became, I want for my brother what I want for my own self. Along with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, culture, freedom, power, refinement, equality, God, billboard, justice, all this was also coming into the neighborhood. So you had people that didn't really believe in the culture and thought it was just gonna be a fad and fade away. But when they began to, you know, um, see what was going on in the neighborhood, they begin to believe. And when they begin to believe, corporate, they begin to make major contributions to the gym. And this is what sparked the ideal, you know what I'm saying, in the minds of the hood, how um, the hood was saying hip hop is the thing that saved me. And they still saying this to this day. You know, hip hop is the thing that saved me. Yeah, it saved you. It saved all of us. You know what I'm saying? It was, and it was through the uh, four principles, the four elements, one being uh, uh, the broken down dance. Because the broken down dance, it was the B-boys. So it was the streets. It was the violence, it was the crime. It was the thing that was going on back at that time. And the broken down dance became symbolic to the chessboard. Two kings amongst the chessboard are not allowed to jump each other. So they had to think seven situations into their move. They had to be patient. And they also had to use a critical way of thinking about their opponent. And also the chessboard become symbolic to the broken down dance. Because truth be told, you know, I broke on mad cats back in my days, especially if you was biting my mood. You know, and then we break out into a verbal warfare that brought the whole hood out, you know what I'm saying? In respects to, you know, who was most popular and who was coming up trying to gain popularity. And then we'll go at it, it breaking down in a dance. And, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, you know, nobody got hurt, you know what I'm saying? We lived to break it down and dance another time. And this is what brought the hood together in a collective mind, in a collective body, in a collective spirit, you know what I'm saying? And this is what was causing the hood to, uh, to, to rise, you know what I'm saying? To uprise. And you gotta remember, um, you know, the Lower East Side, are the only ones that had all four elements of hip hop moving simultaneously all at one time. You know what I'm saying? And the DJs, you know, are the ones who created the whole battle. You know what I mean? Because the DJs was the streets. So the DJs was the sound that was popping off in the street. And, you know, me coming up in the big park as a young warrior, you know, uh, you will have uh, DJs you know, set up already, you know what I mean? It had the whole crowd and everybody vibing. And then next thing you know, people will come from the walls with their equipment right in the same park, you know what I'm saying? And set up their equipment. And what they would do, they would snatch the crowd away from, from that DJ. And this would go back and forth. And, you know, a lot of people got 
packed up and 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 send send out the park. You know what I'm saying? Never never to return back in the park at that time. Well, we talk like this because um, one of the biggest hip hop movies ever produced in the history of hip hop is the one that projected this onto the Lower East Side. And also, it depicts the transition from where hip hop started, you know, where, to where hip hop came to. You know what I'm saying? Established on the Lower East Side, the world's biggest hip hop concert ever produced in the history of hip hop. You know what I mean? And all through parts of the of the movie, they always made it sound like the Lower East Side was the place to be. You know, but before the lights, cameras, action, you know, we already had this, this part of the Lower East Side, we already had it up and jumping. And you could tell that it was up and jumping through by the cells that were scrawled out on the amphitheater. You know what I'm saying? Showing and prove that we was dead. You couldn't be from the Lower East Side if you have never been to that part of um, the Lower East Side. And again, the Lower the lower East Side is one of the first supporters. So when the great grandmasters walk hip hop up into the Lower East Side, not just anywhere in the Lower East Side, they walked it into the heart of the Lower East Side and established the first open mic slash talent show ever produced in the history of hip hop inside the walls. And you know, we are from the fourth wall and the great grandmasters know who was running that whole area, you know what I'm saying, down on the Lower East Side, from the 4th Street era between B and A. You know what I'm saying, all our OGs, all our street fathers, all our dons, and also on 2nd Street between C and B. All our OGs, all our street fathers, all our, all our dons running that whole area. So we had a chance to sit up under the wings of the great grandmasters. So we already knew about gang life. You know what I'm saying? We already knew about Zulu, um, uh, beads, feathers. You know what I'm saying? About their blackness, about consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Gang life. And we also knew about the West Coast before the West Coast was even, was even known. You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause also all the West Coast rappers was also sitting up under the wings of the great grandmaster. You know what I'm saying? Um, blue bandanas, dark glasses, you know what I'm saying? Six pointed flag star, um, crip culture. Crip meaning community revolution and position, or community revolution and progress. You know what I'm saying? Gang life. So was the bloods also coming in, you know? Bloods meaning um, blood of the black race, you know? Um, brotherly love, overriding oppression and destruction or dominion. You know what I'm saying? Bloody, bloody, bloody uniform. You know what I'm saying? About gang life. You know, community. And this was hip hop, you know, at that time. 